I think that the, the midterm elections next week in the United States are probably the most important midterms in U.S. history and arguably the most important elections for about 150 years. Uh, and they're important because they have, they'll help determine the survival basically of Republican and of course Democratic institutions, not just the United States but around the world. The fact that someone like Donald Trump in the last few years has actually been emulated and copied by uh, people in other countries is something that says exactly the kind of soft power that people used to think about for the United States, um, but in a, in a very, very negative sense. So what I think is likely to happen is that if there's a pushback against um, the Republicans and against Trump, uh, this will have a really powerful effect on, on, on countries uh, in, in various parts of the world. If, it, if there is no uh, pushback, if it turns out that the Republicans keep control of both houses of Congress, then that's going to be encouragement for the Republicans in the United States and their counterparts in other countries to double down and become even more authoritarian, even more xenophobic, even less tolerant uh, than they are right now. So I think the stakes are incredibly high. In terms of what's likely to happen, it's very much a toss-up at this point. The polls show that the, the um, uh, that the Democrats have a fairly good likelihood of winning back control of the House of Representatives. I say we should take that with a grain of salt because there's a significant amount of gerrymandering and it turns out that in many, many places the Republicans have such control of the districts that the Democrats will have to win way more than 50 percent of the vote to be able to take control. On the other hand, I think the likelihood of the Democrats taking control of the Senate is relatively low. That may not matter too much in the sense that if the where Democrats control one House of Congress, they'll be able to start in implementing checks and balances against, uh, uh, against the administration. If they don't control either one, then things will get, I think, very, very bad very, very quickly. Um, on the other hand, even under the best of circumstances, it's likely that the Republicans, as I said, will control the Senate. And therefore, this means that the president will continue to be able to name the people he wants to name to cabinet secretaries and especially judgeships. And that's the long-term kind of hollowing out that we see not only in the United States, but a number of other countries now. Um, and that's why it's important that if only at the level of rhetoric and at the level of the news media, that it be seen that there was a limit to this kind of process and that the, the opposition in effect has, 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 has begun to, to uh, redress the balance.